hello and thanks for your interest in Westport Island pottery. As you can see, there is a lot of it and every single piece is one of a kind. So I thought I'd try to just give you a quick little tour of what is available. So she's got these darling little mugs that have lobsters stenciled into them. Got a pitcher, a couple more mugs. An, this is a candle lighter. You put a little candle in there and it lets out the, the shadows. I've got another creamer there. As we look on the inside here, here's another tea light holder, some pitchers back there, utensil holders. Now these little pencil and pen holders are just too cute. Look at that little piggy. There's a turtle down there on the next shelf, but we'll get there, we'll get there. There's the chickens. We've got the, the chick <laughs> pea dip in the little chicken dip dish and it comes with the little knife. You've got the chicken utensil holder and a little chicken ikebana. The ikebana, you put a flower stem right in those little spokes and it helps the flowers last longer. So that's a few of the things on the top shelf. As we go down here onto the second shelf, we've got some brie bakers and we've got earring holders. And these are those really cute pen and pencil holders I was telling you about. There's the sweet turtle. Some more chickens. A couple handleless mugs. Just a little cup. Another candle light. A little light dances out of the holes in the pottery. Those are the Brie Bakers. These are earring holders and organizers. So you take your earring and you put it right there on the edge and it helps keep, you know, which ones are which. Little tea bag holders for after you're done steeping your tea. Also could double as a spoon rest. Here we go on to the second shelf. These are called violet vases. put the stems right through the holes and a little water on the inside. Oh, cannot get enough of these little piggies. Some garlic keepers back there. Some hand soap pumps. A toothbrush holder. This little guy is super clever. It's a solar light. So you'll charge and then the light will come and dance out these little holes. These butter keepers are just awesome. You pack the butter on the inside there. You put a little water on the inside and it helps keep the butter nice and soft. We've got sponge holders, another sweet chicken. There's a sheep yarn bowl. And then on the bottom shelf here, a couple more of the dip dishes and some really beautiful blue glazed bowls. These garlic dipping dishes are wicked cool. You grate your garlic right on the rough area, and then you add a little bit of olive oil, and it is perfect for dipping bread. We've got a couple other little ikebanas here. Again, you just put your flower stem right in there and it helps the flowers live longer. This is one piece. These little tea lights, so cute. And the light, again, dances out the little holes. <sighs> I think we already know how I feel about these little turtles. So cute. And a couple more just keeper jars. <coughs> these are awesome. They've got little thumb indents to make it easy to hold another yarn bowl and then all along this shelf there are mugs on the outside here all kinds so these have some stars on them some natural glazes and as you know i'm already obsessed 
with these little piggies on their little noses. She does them in a variety of different glazes. Here's a little cat, another lobster, a cat. That's that top shelf again. And then as we look at these mugs on this side as well, very natural tones. All of them are hand done. Every single piece is unique. And that is Westport Island by Nancy Shaw.